This video is for folks that want a bit more help learning how to do the Moon Master Cancel. I learned how to do it from watching some great videos from Gushi Gaming, Joey Dominguez, and Boz Q. I'll link to those in the description. If you haven't seen them yet, definitely check them out. But even after watching those, it still took me a long time to be able to do it consistently. If you're like I was and need extra help to nail it, hopefully this video will help you. I'm going to walk through the mechanics of how it works and then three different ways to do it. The options for what you can do at the end of the cancel, as well as some general tips for learning and using it. Before we dive into the mechanics of this, just a reminder, in order to do this, you need to have the Moon Stance and the Moon Master perk. The Moon Master Cancel is the same spinning strike that you get when you hold triangle, release, and then tap two more times to perform the three spins. But if you're able to cancel the animation of each of the three swings, it condenses that five second long combo into one that takes less than two seconds. So you get the same damage, but way faster. To give an overview of how this works, we're going to slow this down and walk through how to do it. Start the swing with holding triangle. Release it, and after a tiny gap, cancel that first swing with circle. Immediately tap triangle to start the second swing. After a short gap, cancel that with circle. Immediately tap triangle to start the third swing. Again, after a gap, cancel with circle. After that sequence, there's a couple different options for how to end it. We'll talk about that later. This is just to show the mechanics of it. As you'll see soon, there's a couple different ways you can do this with your hands. And most of them, you don't need to worry about all this fine detail. You're just following some kind of rhythm. Try it out. Just try canceling the first swing only. Hold triangle, release, and then right away tap circle to cancel it. You'll do the damage of the first swing, but without the long spinning animation. That's the basic idea. The full cancel is just doing that for all three swings. The trick of it really just comes down to getting the timing right. If you cancel too quickly, the sword swing doesn't actually do any damage. But if you wait just long enough, you'll get the sweet spot of doing damage with a short animation. If you wait too long, it won't actually cancel and you'll do the full swing animation. Start the second swing by tapping triangle immediately after circle. If you aren't fast enough, you'll just end up kicking. Again, cancel this swing with circle. The same timing applies here. Cancel too fast, no damage or no swing. Cancel too slow, and it will just do the full animation. To do the third swing, it's the exact same thing as the second one. Hitting all those buttons in the right timing is a little tricky, but there's actually a bunch of different ways you can physically do it. I'm going to show three of them. When you're watching these, pay attention to the sound, the actual rhythm of the button taps. So the first way is what I actually just showed in the previous section. This is actually probably the hardest way to do it, and getting the timing here consistently will take some effort. You also have to be very fast with the movement of your thumb. The second way is to use an alternative grip and do this kind of horse galloping motion. This one you just need to learn the rhythm. Once you get it, it's pretty consistent and easy to do. The only downside is having to switch to this alternative grip. This third and final way is the way that I prefer to do it. Hold and release triangle, and then swipe three times. Each swipe should hit triangle and circle together at the same time. It's also really forgiving. You can do it fast, or you can do it with more space in between each swipe. can swipe against the right edge of your thumb, or the left edge of your thumb, or your thumb pad. You can also just press the two buttons at the same time without the swipe, just tapping it at the exact same time, but I find the swipe to be easier. When you're learning this, try doing it away from enemies, because it's the same motion either way. And then try with some smaller enemies before you take on the big ones. Once you've mastered this, the final piece is what to do at the end of it. I've seen a few different options here. 
if you don't do anything, you'll end up automatically kicking. This is good if you want to do extra stagger damage at the end of it. You can also just jump right into a, another kind of cancel, like a katana cancel or the dash attack cancel. If you're using the horse gallop alternative grip, this one's easy to jump into those other cancels. You can also avoid the kick at the end if you just tap circle or block. If you do that, you can then just immediately start up another Moon Master cancel and just do a bunch of them one after another. All right, now you should be a, a master of the Moon Master cancel and you should truly be unstoppable. Hit.